Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I went to Sephora and I got the new Fenty Beauty Concealers, a new gloss, and the setting powder. I got two concealers. I got 370, which is my foundation shade, and I got 350, which I use to highlight. On my face today is the 350. I'm just going to swatch the two so you can see. So 370 is at the top and 350 is on the bottom. The wand on the concealer is really nice. Um, it blends out really easily. It has really great coverage. Really, Rihanna has done it again, and it's all 50 shades. So it's really super inclusive, which you know we love. I love her mission for her brand, like that everyone should be included. All demographics love makeup, so I think everyone needs to have a shade for them. So I really appreciate her making shades for everyone. Powder comes in this packaging, which is consistent with her little signature signature shape so i got the shade honey which i think is my brightening shade i'm gonna go back when i get a little bit more money to get the all around shade the powder is supposed to be a matte like finishing photo powder I picked up her sponge it's dirty now but this sponge is actually really great this is the first time i tried it so i'm really a fan also picked up the lip gloss shade in fussy that's all I have to say like before. I can't, This is like a talk through tutorial so I kind of explain things throughout as well. But if you want to see how I got this makeup look using basically all Fenty products, stay tuned and keep on watching. So I use the Benefit Professional in this area of my face. It pours, so I get pores like right up in here, like down here and on my chin. And so I just put that all over my face. In my other videos I use the Milk Blur Stick. I still really like that blur stick but the professional is actually a really good primer as well and all over the rest of my face I use the MAC strobe cream so that really just brightens up the rest of my face I feel like I would really use the Fenty primer because I do have it but I left it at school so I wasn't just gonna buy a new primer and now I'm gonna go in with my Fenty foundation I do shake it up and I do two pumps I just dab it on my face I predominantly don't put it like under my eyes since I know I'm gonna put concealer under there I don't want that area to get too heavy or anything so I just kind of go around it I'm gonna blend this out with my um, it cosmetics foundation brush I like to make sure that my foundation is like really sheared out so that it really like sinks into my skin I guess I don't like to have a lot of excess on my face so like my brush doesn't have too much foundation like residue left on it so this is 350 and the concealer is really creamy and I kind of have creases under my eyes so this is a little more than I usually apply I usually just do a little bit but I read like in some of the other videos I watched about the concealer it said a little bit goes a long way and it definitely does because in my NARS concealer like this wand is way bigger my NARS concealer brush is um, really small I feel like so I'm always kind of trying to dip it in for more and this wand um, seems to be really thick so I don't have to do that which I am a fan of so I'm gonna go ahead and blend this all out with my sponge I'm going to use the um, rounded side. I think I put a little bit too much on there, but okay, honestly, that blends out so smoothly and it looks so bright. I never really put the highlight by my nose before, so I'm experimenting right now. Oh my god, I love that. That looks amazing. Rihanna never ceases to amaze me. Do you see this? Like, sis, what? Are you serious? That was so easy to blend out. Honestly, I really like this sponge as well. It's really soft. I dare say that I like it more than my beauty blender. Okay. This foundation is absolutely amazing. You can see how bright it looks. Like, it really just brightened up 
my whole face so now I'm gonna go ahead and set it with the honey translucent powder super excited for this powder like so this powder is supposed to be a matte powder I'm kind of excited about that as well because I have oily skin especially like in my t-zone so I think that this powder would be really good for my face. So I was watching Jackie Ina's video this morning and she mentioned how there was a slight fragrance. She mentioned how there was a slight fragrance. Why can't I speak English? Fragrance? Fake? Fray? I don't know why I can't say this word today. A slight scent to the translucent powder and I definitely notice it but I kind of like it so I don't think it bothers me in the slightest bit. So now I'm going to cream contour with the match the matte match sticks. I think that's what they're called in the shade Mocha until I can get my hands on a darker concealer. I think that concealer would be amazing to contour with. The formula is just Honestly, I would be really interested in Rihanna doing kind of like a set of powders, I guess. Like some illuminating ones would be really nice. And I'm going to go blend that out. And I like to put a little blush on my nose and the center of my forehead just to further brighten those areas and my chin a little bit. I've been using the Hustler Baby highlight. I feel like Trophy Wife just sometimes is a little bit too intense so I don't always want to use that and this highlighter is also just really beautiful so yeah this is definitely one of my faves like just look at that. Do you see that? Do you, do you just do you see just take it in I really want to try Rihanna's brushes because I feel like her highlighting brush is really great like this is my favorite highlighting brush that I own but sometimes I still don't like blending with this brush like it applies it really well most of the time and then sometimes I feel like my highlighter looks murky I guess I don't know. like Michael in the office says nope don't like that. A little bit too much on my nose. We're trying to slay, not guide Santa's slay. That was really corny, but I really cracked myself up. So I do my brows last now. I used to do them before, but now I like doing them last. And I think it really makes a difference. Like, I know there's a whole debate about brows that go brows before foundation or after foundation. And I've switched teams. I do my brows after my foundation now it's getting real wild so as always I'm using my benefit prime like eyebrow primer and I can never not do my brows with this gimme brow by benefit it's just really honestly it's holy grail at this point okay so after I do that I like to go in with the pencil. I know some people do the um, the gimme brow after, but I like doing it before just because I'm lazy and that speeds up doing my brows by so much, like I said. But I have the Benefit. I like it because it has like everything all in one, so I don't have to worry about like blending out concealer under my eyebrow or anything because it has the darker, lighter, like defining highlighter and then like an actual highlight shade all in the same pencil. The only thing I wished is that it had like a spoolie on the end. So now I'm just going to set my face with the cover effect. And then I'm going to be using the Milk Kush Mascara. That's all for this makeup look. I hope that it gave you insight on the concealer and the setting powder. And I hope that you enjoyed watching this and that my steps are easy to follow. So if this was helpful in any way, please like, comment, and subs or subscribe, and or all three. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!